Perpetual war. So, who are you interviewing me for? Like, who are you? Oh, hi, my name is Brad Jarvis. I'm just curious uh, if you support perpetual war. Um, why would you come and ask me that while I support Mitt Romney? That's a question I would like to ask you in return. You answered my question, your question for yourself. I mean, I'm asking you that because you're holding a Romney sign. No, I support Mitt Romney because he is the best choice for president of the United States of America at this time in our history of our country. Our country is in a lot of problems. We have a financial situation that is extremely dire. We have a lot of unemployment. Do you have a job? I do. You do? That's good. A lot of people don't. And less people have jobs than did when Obama started as Do you president. believe in the Constitution? Yes, and why do you think Mitt Romney doesn't believe in the Constitution? Well, he does one, nothing against the Constitution. For one, he passed the biggest gun control law in Massachusetts in the state's history. Do you think that makes him not believe in the Constitution? The Constitution's pretty clear, and he doesn't well, seem to I care about it. Well, I think that you are wrong when you say Mitt Romney doesn't care about the Constitution. Okay. Yeah, I think you're wrong. Well, Mitt he, Romney he, does support the Constitution. He, he supports these perpetual wars that have never been declared, and if you read the Constitution... And so does Obama. Yes. Yeah, and so does every other person. No. Do you not support our military? Do you want to get nuked? Do you want your family to have um, people from the Taliban coming up and down the streets of Nashua someday? Do you understand why these countries take issue I do. with us? I do, and I believe why is that, that is our it be, country... Is it because of Britney Spears we and moved Coca-Cola? Here. Hey, I don't support Britney Spears either. I do like Diet Coke, though. But that's not the point. People like Mitt Romney are the reason why 9-11 happened. You are so full of it. I don't have time for you. Romney, 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 Romney! Woo! You know, Diet Coke's yeah, really yeah. bad for normal mental function. It has all sorts of horrible chemicals in it. You sound like you might, might really not really be a legit reporter. I would think you're probably just like somebody that's going around trying to make trouble. So whatever. We have our freedom in our country. If you want to go around and make trouble, that's this your choice. It's a free country. It's a police state. <laughs> I was a cop for 11 years and I quit because it's a police state. Well, I don't know where you live, but my Let's town is not a police state. Where are you from? Massachusetts? No, I live in New Hampshire. Where about? Amherst, New Hampshire. So, I don't know what country you live in, but I live in the United States, and I'm looking forward to having Mitt Romney be the president. So, maybe you could move somewhere else if you don't like our country. It's a choice. We're free. So, We're the freest slaves there are. That's your opinion. I have mine. We're all entitled to one. That's why we have freedom. So, good luck with your quest to hate Mitt Romney. I wish I you luck Mitt with Romney. that. I well, just think Mitt Romney hates the Constitution. I think you're full of it. And why don't you sit down and like study some of the things that Mitt Romney actually teaches and you would find that you're wrong. You're probably some of the people that go on Facebook on the Mitt Romney website and bash Mitt Romney all day long with your garbage that you spout. That's not true. So when I said earlier that Mitt Romney and people like him are the reason why 9-11 happened, do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, I do. And I don't wish to address that because I think you're wrong. And I didn't come here to argue with you. I came here to support my candidate. You came here to blindly support your candidate, no matter... No, not blindly. I wholeheartedly support him and I believe in him. And I know him personally and he is a great guy. Yeah. So he you're is. you're here in opposition to all of the active duty troops that are supporting. No, Ron I Paul. don't. My father in law was a pilot in the US Air Force. I support our military. I have family members that are in the military. My nephew just went to the Air Force. So don't tell me I don't support my country. That is offensive. I didn't say that. But you know what? You're in my way and I wish to move. So could you please leave me alone? I find you offensive. But I don't find Mitt Romney offensive. Are you a Romney supporter also, sir? No, he works with ABC News. Who do you uh, work for? I work for Adam a, versus the man. Do you have a press pass to be here? 
Are you just here voluntarily? <laughs> the, uh, uh, do I need a press pass people? to be here on on the sidewalk? What did I say well, that was insulting? Well, at some events you do. Don't you think you're no, insulting be, just following wait, me around wait, wait, with wait, your wait. camera in wait, my wait, face? Wait, wait, wait. You're saying that that the Constitution doesn't give me a right to be on a public sidewalk no, with a camera? No, I didn't. But when we have certain events, the press and the media do sign in. Do you not ever have protocol in your job? Actually, last time I went to a Romney event, I did sign in and was uh, recognized as press. So. Well, good for you. Yeah. I'm proud of you. Thank I'm you. glad you can follow a rule. <laughs> That's a very good thing to do. Well, I was in the Marines. I was in Fallujah in 2004 with good the Civil Affairs I, team. And I'm I support the have. troops who are overwhelmingly supporting Ron Paul for so president. you do support the troops? Absolutely. Good for you, because we all should support our troops. This is our Absolutely. freedom. We should fight for our freedom. That's what our troops are doing. Um, actually, we weren't, and they're not, and that's the message. We have troops around the world that do fight for our freedom. I beg to differ with you. Then why are they donating to President or to, to Ron Paul with more campaign contributions than all Can other you candidates? Give me put a together? dollar amount because I've seen those phony statistics that people are spouting on Facebook. No, it's. It's from the and FEC, can you, from can the you, FEC reports. There, there's probably like what five thousand dollars worth of contributions. Uh, I, last time it was over, I checked it was it was over a hundred thousand yeah. from active duty troops. Yeah, a hundred thousand. Yeah. And how many people are in the military? Millions. So that's not like exactly. How many millions are in the military? You know, I don't know exactly the number, but I'm sure there's probably at least with the people that support the military in all the different jobs. There's probably at least. No, I don't know. Why don't you st check on that statistic and get back to me? Okay. Yeah. But I know we have, I have seen the statistics on how many people from all the campaigns. And maybe Ron Paul might have a few more dollars from people from active duty military. No, he has, he has more than all other candidates, including Obama, combined. Is that current as of December 31st? <laughs> Or are you spouting that was, old no, statistics yeah, from so. no, 2008? That was, no, that was from oh, the previous quarter of this year. What about all those Ku Klux Klan people that Ron Paul had that worked in Michigan before on his campaign? How much money have they given? That, why don't you get that statistic and get back with me? Because you're really, I'm finding you annoying. You, you think your little smirk is cute? I find it offensive.